Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make this into this. It's a little weird, but I think it's pretty cool. So all you need is two free apps. One is called Mesh Mixer by Autodesk. And another one is called S Candy Pro or Scandy Pro. Um, they're both free and I'll be showing you how to do it step by step in this video. So yeah, so open the application Scandy Pro. It's a trial version, but it does give you one free scan every day. And I'll be showing you how I set it up because I'm by myself and I didn't want to uh, let another person deal with that. So it's really simple and I'll show you right now. So the first thing I did was get a tripod. And the good thing about the tripod is I can just leave it here and lift it up as far as I want. And the thing about scanning your face with uh, this app is you have to uh, have it like set up in a vertical position because it's using the Face ID camera. Okay, after you have this all set up, I have this little phone mount and I fold it up vertically like this. When you mount it into your tripod, it flips your phone like this. And since it's using the Face ID camera, it wants to get a portrait version of your face. So I'm gonna switch to a different camera to record the process and I'm gonna use this to record me. You should be able to hear me now. Okay, so I just set up the tripod so it's more narrow. My legs don't hit in it. So it's using this camera right here, the face ID sensor. You can kind of see how my hand gets mapped out. And so this is how I did it. I pressed the record button and then you slowly See that I kind of messed up on my face right here, so I'm actually gonna cancel this one. Uh, you can just keep retrying, and hopefully it'll show up better than this. You also want to get the top of your head, which you can do by like leaning forward like this. So I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna fast forward it this time. Nothing. So if you actually have another phone, you can pair it up with this application so it'll make it better. Uh, that clearly didn't come out well, so I'm just gonna discard this one. But if you do save the 3D scan, it should hopefully end up something like this one, which is a little better quality. Which is a lot better quality. Um, and you can already find some problems in it, like there's a hole in my head, but we can fix that in Mesh Mixer, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so to fix up your 3D model and make it possible for you to 3D print, you wanna uh, tap the button here. And then there's this little arrow button. You wanna press that so you can export it. Here you can change the scale. So meters, inches, centimeters, or millimeters. I'm gonna be using meters cause, well, who doesn't? And then here there's a bunch of files you can use. Um, I'm gonna stick with OBJ because it's a little more friendly for me. And if you press export, you can actually airdrop it to your computer. And it should show up on my computer right here. And while it's accepting it, I'm gonna open Mesh Mixer Pro. Uh, it's, it's a completely free app. I'll have it in the description below. Okay, when it does open, you could import your file. I'm just going to drag this in. Okay, so now cancel recording here on my phone because that's all you need now. And it should take a bit to load in. Okay. So you know how it positioned me in this weird angle? I'm actually going to Thank you. 
transform, turn rotate, the thing we just got, make it almost perfect, and then bring myself accept. Okay. <clears throat> so now you see it uh, it's in a good orientation now. And I actually want to cut the plane so it's a little more even and it doesn't expose all my shoulders that much. Okay, right there. Okay, when you press that, it cleaned up most of the bottom part and it didn't clean up everything. So the next thing we're going to do is actually uh, fill myself so it makes solid and then it should take just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back and uh, after making it solid, this is what came out of it. Um, there's some imperfections in the hair area, but I think it looks pretty decent. If you do have to fix things, there's more tutorials more advanced than what I'm showing you right now. Uh, I'm just showing you how to make it into a 3D model. So after you do that, you want to go to File, Export, and export as OBJ or STL. Um, I'm just going to stick with OBJ because that's what the original file was. I'm going to save it as my face. This, so this is what I look like in real life, and then I'm gonna film portrait mode, my little face. So hopefully I have a pretty decent side-by-side -side comparison. Um, I don't know if I'm rotating properly. Yeah, I think it came out pretty well. You can, like, it kind of looks like an actual person when you see all the shadows acting against it. And, um, you know, I wouldn't do this project just to <laughs> make a tiny version of yourself. I mean, you can if you want, but then I think a better use of this would be maybe for like cosplay. If you're going to make costumes and you need them to fit yourself. Because, you know, you don't want to print your helmets all over and over again. You want like a, a good scale model to fit your head shape. But um, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, um, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.